Now, here he is, a young man that I have had great reports about, particularly from one of my granddaughters, Cheryl Stacy. And by the way, mentioning the Stacys, where's Bruce and Elaine? Are you here, Bruce? No, he's not. Oh, I thought Bruce is the, he's the original initiator, if you will, of this whole series, Canada Heart and Soul. And, uh, but their oldest daughter, Cheryl, has worked with Will Graham as the children's evangelist in many of the outreaches that Will has taken the lead in reaching out to the young people. And uh, the God Rocks uh, ministry has been a blessing. And Cheryl has reported on Will. And uh, it's all good, Will. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Will Graham. Come on. Uh, uh, Will, do you ever get tired of, of uh, being referred to as Billy's grandson and, and, and Franklin's son? No, I mean, I love my grandfather and I love my father and I'm grateful to be just around them this much. And, uh, and then uh, affectionately, I've heard you refer to George Beverly Shea that we're honoring an entire hour in, I think, the most uh, well-produced, uh, the content is fabulous, documentary collection ever in history. I'm bragging a little bit on that, but I, I was a narrator, but other than that, very little to do with it. Uh, but, uh, but, uh, uh, I call him always, Uncle Bev. Yeah, you always call him Uncle Bev. I call him now, Uncle Bev. Now, one of the unique things about the Billy Graham team is that even if you weren't physically family, you were family. Well, that, that's uh, not really because of it's a Billy Graham Evangelistic Association uh, trademark, it's because we're from the south, the southern part of the United States. It's a southern thing. Uh, when you're close to somebody, you can't, especially when they're, they're you know, like uh, my elder, I cannot refer to them as by their first name. I say Mr. So-and-so or Dr. So-and-so. But when you know them so well, they're like family, and so you always put like uncle or aunt, then call them by their first name. It, it's the way we cheat the system. And, uh, but like I, I called him Uncle Bev. Uh, you had Dr. John Wesley White here in the crowd right now. I called him Uncle John. And uh, so that's a, we say that with affection when we love somebody. Did, do we get a shot of, of John? Yeah. Did we have a shot already? Yeah. Well, long... My memory's going a little bit. There, there he is. Now, uh, he used to always show up at Huntley Street, newspaper under his arm. And I went in the other day to where he's staying now. His precious wife has gone on to be with the Lord and he's kind of hurrying to catch up. But uh, all over the bed were newspaper clippings. And he was getting ready to mail them out to your dad. And me. And you. He sends them to me as and, well. And the, from, uh, from newspapers all over the world. Now that's what he did for Billy. That's right. Uh, Oxford PhD, who was the researcher, he was an evangelist in his own right, a, a, a co-evangelist with the Billy Graham team. Ladies and gentlemen, Dr. John Wesley White. All right, now I'm gonna brag a little bit. You were talking about the South, how about the North? Well, they're good people From too. the documentary, <laughs> George Beverly Shea's Canadian Roots. Yeah. The man's name is George Beverly Shea. And to know him, you have to begin here, in Winchester, Ontario, Canada. Winchester is located about 30 miles south of the Canadian capital of Ottawa. George was raised in this home, which remains today as a Canadian landmark. Bev's father continued to have a profound influence on his life. I remember at age 18, I would I needed another touch from the Lord. And uh, my dad uh, came down from the pulpit during invitation time. There was another man who was a guest speaker. And he put his hand on my shoulder and he said, son, perhaps you better come forward tonight. And you know, uh, whatever dad did, I, I loved him so much. Uh, I, uh, at the 100th birthday, your dad was there. Uh, sitting at the table where they had honored Norma Jean and I to sit at that table with Bill and Gloria Gaither and so on. Next table over was, uh, was uh, uh, Billy Graham, your grandpa, and, uh, and George and Carlene. And uh, as I watched over, in fact, George mentions this on the, uh, on the, on the, uh, the dock, uh, about every five minutes, George would reach over and pat Billy. Now, Billy's 90. 
George is 100. Mm -hmm. uh, pat Billy on the hand. Five minutes later, Billy would reach over and pat George on the hand. And I thought, the bond, the bond. They were friends. They were, I mean, you saw that in person. What kind of an impact did that have spiritually on your life? Well, they worked over, uh, Uncle Bev and my granddaddy worked over 60 years of working together, and they never had a cross word ever between them. And that was just a, one of those special friendships that God just brought together, uh, like a David and Jonathan, to, for the purpose uh, to serve Jesus Christ. And that, that's what they did, and uh, my granddaddy sure does miss them. Well, would you take our love to your granddaddy and your daddy? <laughs> Here's something else from the documentary. Listen. When people look at the career of George Beverly Shea, many will remember him simply as Billy Graham's soloist. After all, they did work together for over 60 years. What is sometimes forgotten is how really good George Beverly Shea is as a professional singer. He did accomplish a lot. He was nominated 10 times in a row for a Grammy, and then won two with the Lifetime Achievement Award. He, he won, in the, won in the 60s on his own for an album. So um, it, it was very interesting. He, he uh, sometimes was very unassuming of uh, the accomplishments he really did. Bev's voice obviously is, is uh, exquisite and rich. It's got that, that engaging tone to me. Uh, that is a gift, I think. It's, it's uh, not a whole lot that you can do to muster it. You either have it or you don't. Bev Shea is the best at what he does. Uh, when you think of gospel music, uh, Bev Shea has set the standard for, for many, many years. Uh, he's, he's held the record. And for a young person coming along, uh, to be able to be the best at what they do, but do it for the right reason. Do it for the Lord Jesus Christ, for his kingdom. God will bless it, God will use it, and you won't be disappointed.